I got this from eBay. It arrived a couple of days ago. It's a collection of uncirculated coins. There's a few of the old type, big 50p's, the big 10p's, the big 5p's, some half pennies there, and some twos and ones. It was a starting bit of a fiver, which I won. 3.29 posted, so I paid 8.29 altogether for that. I have neglected the old type decimal coin, so while I was waiting for this to arrive, I've made some sheets. So there's the half pennies. All I did was print them out, cut them up, and then put them in these little pouches. Oh, but before that, get the information off the internet. This is Wikipedia for the half pence coins. You can use a Royal Mint website as well. They've got all mintage figures. So let's say 1971, copy that. Get the images off the internet. I use Paint Shop Pro. So then we paste that in there and we've got the mintage figure. I mean, you could buy all these sheets, but I just enjoy making them. But please don't ask me to do any for you because it takes absolutely ages and I can't do that. And I make such a mess as well. So they're the half pennies. Uh, I've got there's two P's, five P's, and I'll ask tens and fifties. I printed them all out anyway. And the pennies I put in the little album so we can uh, find the pennies as well. Uh, but I'm just going to leave the rest on sheets like that, I think. Hopefully everything's correct on there. If you do spot any mistakes, it's obviously deliberate to keep you on your toes. <laughs> So let's get into this and see what we've got. Right. Watch my fingers. Right. Reused box. I don't think there's any details on there. Let me just check. No, don't look like it. Solidly packed in there. Oh yeah, recyclable packing. Is there any paperwork in there? Mm, no, don't think so. It might be in there. Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's one of those sets as well. One of those sets of um, Britain's first decimal coins. Oh, there's two. say two let me just check yeah it did say two sets I missed that are they uncirculated let's have a closer look certainly look very good condition I think they're original a little bit of um, discoloration on them oh yeah look they're definitely originals Right, let's put that back in there. Quick look at the other one. Definitely. Definitely uncirculated. I've got a few of these sets, but they're not original coins. They got lost over the years. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, that's nice. I know they made millions of these, but they've got to be a couple of quid each, surely. We'll say that's four pound back already. All right, what have we got here? Let me get this packaging out of the way. All right, let's grab one. Anyone? That'll do. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I thought because the photograph on eBay was like that, I thought they were all going to come together in one bag. But it looks like the sender has wrapped them all up nicely. On edge, are they? Not on edge, you know. Flat. And what we got here then? 10 P's and there's a few 50 P's. So let's have a look at those. Very nicely packed. Okay. 1979. Definitely looks uncirculated to me. You do see little f marks on there, but that could be where it's just been in the hopper or the bags with the other coins when they were minted. Certainly hasn't done much circulation. Look at that one. 1979. Nice. Right, let me put them down one at a time. 78. 78. No, sorry, 73. That's nice for a 73. I need to get my uh, sheet out. 
I've done them all. I've done one for every 10 piece. So this one starts 1968 to 87. This one, 88 to 2007. And this one, 2008. And I've gone right up to 2023, which I'm pretty sure is an NIFC, not intended for circulation. Uh, no idea about a 2024 yet. So for now, I'll just put them on top. So that's a 73 and 279s, wasn't it? So I'll put the best ones in, in case there's any more duplicates. Right, let's grab these. Okay, I've got here. A 19, a 75, lovely condition. I'm down there for a minute. Look at that. They certainly are uncirculated. Can't argue with that. 76. Got to be gentle with them, might get moaned at. What's that? 68. 1968. Lovely. Beautiful. That's a lovely design by Christopher Ironside. I love it. What have we got? 1980. Let's put those four down. Right, 75. 1976. 68. Right at the beginning. And what's this one? 1980. Put that there. Three more 10Ps. 1977. That's got some uh, strange colouring on there. A bit of toning. Uh, definitely uncirculated. Uh, another 1976. I'll have to sort out which I think is the best one. And what we got here. 1970. So I've got a 77. Another 76. And this one was 1970. There it is. I'm happy already with that. Can't go wrong on a fiver plus three pound delivery. Okay, that's got them all in. I'll put them round the other way so the obverse is facing up so we can see the date, but I'll leave the inserts in for now. And we can clearly see what's needed. Got them in. All right. I've done a space for everything. 1972, that's proof only. And I've got some NIFCs down there as well. In fact, quite a few in a row there. Right, that's that then. Okay, I thought these were all 50p's next, but there is another one there. What's that? 69. 1969. So I've got to get that in me 10p one. Just have a closer look before I put it in. Not bad, a little bit of dirt on the nine. Pretty good though. So let's get that in there. In she goes. This is Queenie. There we go. I'm not gonna put these in an album. I'm just gonna leave them in sheets like that. Easier to see, easier to get at. I've only done sheets for the big 50Ps from 1969 up there to 1997. If I was to do them for all the 50Ps, I'd need about 100 sheets of these, wouldn't I? If you consider all the recently released commemorative 50Ps, there's been hundreds every week at the moment, it seems. Okay, what 50 pences have we got then? Right, there's a 19, a 79. Lovely. Britannia, again, by Christopher Ironside. He designed all the original decimal coins. The reverse of them all. And that's Arnold Mackin's design of the Queen. So a picture of Arnold, there he is. All right, what else have we got? Let's put them down one at a time. 1981. Really nice condition. A little bit of um, scratchy there, but not too bad. Okay. This one then. That's 69. That's when they were first released, the 50p in 1969. They were known as 10 bob bits back then. 
nobody would know what you were talking about if you said 50 pence and this one 1977 that's got those four in loads more to find right let's grab another one Fall into bits that one what's that five peas five pences yeah looks like it all right let's get these open i love the way they've been wrapped up like this lots of little elastic bands there they are Right, let me get my boards out from the 5Ps. They're not boards, are they? They're sheets. So I've got from 1968 again. This one goes right up to 2008. And this one, this one goes up to 2024 again. So 2023, don't think we're going to see that in circulation. And again, no idea about 2024. All right, quite a few of these. I hope they're all uncirculated. So what are we starting with? 1987. Christopher Ironside. It's another lovely design, I think. Right, 87. There's a 1970. Probably not quite as good as some of the others. That one looks nice, though. 1978. Yeah, look at that. 19. Oh, that is lovely. Put them down. I don't want to touch them if I can help it. There's a 1979. Bit of toning on this one. Maybe not. Maybe yeah. Is it? It's nice though, isn't it? 69. Second year circulation that was 1969. 79 again. These are in lovely condition. I know I keep saying that, but I wasn't expecting them all to be quite as good. There's a 1980. Let's get them down there then. We've got a 69. We've got two 79s. Uh, 1980, 87, 1970. And 78, 78, there we go. Okay, carrying on, we got a 1985. Lovely condition. That portrait is by Raphael McClough. It changed in 1984. We've got, what's this one? 1975, nice. I, can't, I just can't get over the quality of these. I was not expecting them all to be this good. There's a 1982. 1971. What's that? 69 again. And what have we got here? Another 1980. Sort the best ones out to put in the uh, sheets. 1979, I think that's three of those. Good quality again. A little bit of uh, corrosion on the corner there. If you can get a corner of a coin. Um, 1984. Lovely condition. Let's get them down. Right, 1971. 75. Where's that? There we are. Uh, 79, that's three of those now. We've got a 1969 again. And this 1984 is not meant for circulation. That is an NIFC, so that's come out of a coin set. So that NIFC, not intended for circulation, that's come out of a coin set. And I do believe we had a 1985 as well. Yeah, look, that's another NIFC. That's out of a set as well. 
So that can go there. Lovely. Uh, what else was it? We had another 1980. Oh, yeah, a 1982. That's another I know I've seen. This is someone's coin collection, isn't it? That's another one out of a set. So that wasn't meant for circulation. So those three, 82, 84 and 85, they've got to be three or four pounds each to buy. So that's my money back just on those three five Ps. Right, so let's hope there's an 83 amongst the rest of these then. That's another 1980. 1970. Oh, another 84. That's another NIFC. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm very pleased I picked these up for eight quid, including postage. Oops. 79. Come on, 83. You've got to be here, surely. 78. Lovely 78. Uh, 89 and an 87, so I've got no 83. Never mind though. Another 78. Uh, another 79, so that's four 79s. Another 1970. 1980. A lovely 1984 NIFC. Two of those. Um, 89. That's the last before they change to the small version of the 5P, which is still in circulation. And what was this last one? 1987. So that's another one of those. Right, I'm just going to go over to the Royal Mint website and check that I've got these NIFCs correct. Okay, here we are. Five pence mintage figures. Um, image coming soon. Come on, Royal Mint. It's only been out 56 years. 69, 70, 71, so 72, 73 and 74, they were all proof only. Um, yeah, between 80 and 87, none were minted to circulation, so they are all NIFCs. What else have we got here? Yeah, 1990, that one is the image in circulation, which is the same image as that, really. All right. That's got the best ones put in there. Uh, no 1968, but I did get two 1968s in there, but I'm not going to take one out. I'll leave that until I find one eventually. Eventually, I want to get all these spaces filled with uh, decent quality ones, so I'll keep looking out for them. If you're watching this far and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. As I'm making this video, I'm coming up to 20,000 subscribers. I only need another 16. So if you're new to the channel or you just haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button. It's absolutely free. Thank you. So these must be all the bronze ones now. So let's go for the little one because that's obviously going to be the half penny. Yep. A few shiny ones. Let's see what we've got here then. All these don't look so nice. 76, not too bad, 74, mm, no. oh dear, not so good are they, 76 again, 1980, they're in good, you can see they're not been circulated, but a discoloration on them. 79, what have we got here, 71, 74, 71, 78, another 71, 81, Eighty and seventy-seven. Right, that's got those in. 
shouldn't be difficult to upgrade some of these. The only two really worth looking out for are the half peas. Here's a 1983, which was quite low mintage for a bronze coin at 7.6 million, and an NIFC 1984. Well, the smaller one must be the pennies, so let's grab that one. Let's see what we've got in here. Let's wait. Look a bit shinier than the half peas anyway. Let's go through those quickly. Drop them. Okay. Right. 81. I might just speed this up actually. 86. Okay, I put all the pennies in. Nothing amazing there. The only one really worth looking out for with the pennies is the 1972. I've put NIFC there, but I think that was just proof only. So including the duplicates, there was 26 in all. So all face value really. So 26p in cash there. Right, just the two p's left then. It must be. So uh, zoom it in a bit get rid of that. See what these are like. No, not too bad looking, some of them. Ooh, one out there. Okay then, here we go. I'll speed this up as well. Let's look at a few first. There's an 88. 77. I'll well, look on the uh, reverse. It's not too bad. And 86, 89. I mean, I think they are uncirculated. It just depends where they've been kept. Makes them look a bit horrible. Certainly not a lot of wear on them. 71. Oh, there's a halfpenny. I did see a halfpenny in the picture. 1963. <laughs> another one. 67. A bit of corrosion there. Is that another one? Yeah. 64. The two piece sheets go from 1971 to uh, 1999 on that one. And what's that? 2000, obviously. And I've got those again. 2023. And the 2024 squirrel, which uh, I doubt we'll find. So that's the two peas in there. Not too many different ones. That's because the 72, 73 and 74 were proof only. And the 82, 83 and 84 were NIFCs. I uh, didn't find any of those. Nothing above face value there really. But we've got 21 altogether. So that's another 42 pence in cash. <laughs> there they all are. Eventually, I want to fill every segment of those uh, sheets. How long that will take me, I don't know. Lots more hunting to do. The best finds are obviously the uh, 82, 84 and 85 5Ps. Even got a spare 84 as well, the NIFCs. And the quality of some of these 50Ps and the 10s, probably one or two pounds each. So I'm going to say that was a nice little bargain for five pounds, 329 delivery. Let me know in the comments what you think. Well, I enjoyed making that video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, look, there's my foot. <laughs>